How you doing, guys? I'm the Bearded Devil. Welcome to my channel. All right, so this is a response to Flatsoid's video that was a response to my video. So we have a little bit of a response inception again. It's a common thing when dealing with Flatsoid. Um, now, in Flatsoid's video, he was apparently confused when I said magical angle. Uh, I think a lot of Flat Earthers get confused when I use hyperbole because they can't, it doesn't register in their minds. When I'm referring to a magical angle, I'm referring to such as Flatso's, uh, what is it, his limited angle, uh, was it Riley's and, uh, oh, what's that fuck nugget's name? Nathan Oakley, talking about the critical angle and all that kind of shit. A as if one angle is is different than the other or special as it were okay uh, within the 360 degrees you know as far as the possibility of all those angles but nonetheless I decided to give this another go all right we're gonna see if we can achieve that that magical angle, that critical angle, uh, the um, supposed limited angle, uh, followed with, I, I want to see if I can catch optical drop, okay, that seems to be one of those things, and also, I, I wanted to sh show how, now, okay, Flatsoid makes this claim about angles occulting things, just the angle, not not anything else, just the angle, which is, in his brain, just the distance between point A and point B, so long as that distance somehow, magically, there's a hyperbole again, uh, causes some kind of occultation, which is uh, basically causing things to block, uh, you know, things like making the floor block the things that it's actually on uh, which if you think about it on a flat surface doesn't make a whole lot of sense but that's his claim that just the sheer distance between point A and point B so long as point B is downrange a bit then that, that space in between somehow does a strange thing that is how you can tell he is a two dimensional thinker Okay, uh, let me go ahead and change where the... Now, as you can see, I've, I've placed it where it's roughly uh, where the crosshairs are kind of right there on the bullseye. It's a little off. You know, I'm not perfect. I realize that. Uh, so, ideally, right, if we follow all of the things that they say, then this should work. 100%. Now, I'm, I'm even going to add uh, some some temperature changes so that we have some atmospheric distortion, or at least maybe some distortions. I don't know. But at least change randomly uh, the temperature in and around above the surface just for the hell of it. Okay? See what that does. Alright? So let me go ahead and change the focus. There we go. Yeah, I might want to move this over a little bit. See? Not perfect. Not perfect. Alright. Make sure we're still aligned. Because I wouldn't want to be... Yeah, more or less still spot on. Alright, cool beans. Okay. So we're going to use the canned air, which is a liquefied compressed gas. And I have another liquefied uh, compressed gas where I'm going to have fire okay so we're gonna randomly uh, do this So, 
we we fuck with the atmosphere a little bit. Maybe this will work after doing all that, right? Let's find out, shall we? Okay. Let me stick our little car right there. Now, ideally, what's going to happen is not only will the right here at the back end, it should theoretically go below eye level, right? Because of the distance well, the angle created by the distance, right, from here to the, the other end, right, and we should have bottom-up obstruction simply due to the fact that, again, that critical angle. Well, okay, with Riley, it's going to be the critical angle, which means the wheels are going to get so small visually that they'll disappear on their own. And according to flat, uh, sorry, to flatzoid, It'll be the limited angle, which of course is, is, I don't know how that's different, but it's just the distance between here at the start and over there at the finish, that that distance, that angle created by that distance, it, it's going to, it's going to, well, cause it to not only drop, but that the, the uh, surface is going to occult the object sitting on it basically the car so let's find out how all that's gonna play out okay all right uh, oh also I have perspective going on because I can't turn that off right I can't turn perspective off all right uh, so what's gonna happen is that I guess the wheels are gonna ramp up okay they're gonna go up even though they're not really going up again there's there's when someone says that it's ramping up that's how you know you're talking to a two-dimensional thinker because they're they're viewing it in terms of a picture plane which is that goes into a different thing altogether but perspective is like on drawing paper right drawing paper is two-dimensional and when you're drawing in perspective right you're recreating the depth of a three-dimensional space on a two-dimensional surface all right now here we are in 3d world <laughs> so let's let's see what happens all right so apparently my 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 finger was a real big thing with, with uh, Flatsoid. Now, um, obviously, as I'm going further, the car itself is getting smaller. This is, of course, as I've stated many times, angular size change over distance. It gets smaller. If I go backwards, it gets bigger. Okay, right? Bigger smaller but not in reality okay the angles are changing right I'm going from here which is a larger angle right or at least it takes up a larger uh, portion of the field of view the angles are it takes up more of those angles if, if that's if you really want to think of it that way further right away the further, further away I go is taking up less of those angles, right? So it's just going from, from it, it, it does this, right? It does this, okay? All it is is just angles. I, I have uh, a picture, uh, or it's, sorry, an image of how that works uh, on Discord. I'll, I may be able to pull it up. If not, we'll get there eventually. Uh, I'll tag... I'll link it in the description if need be, or pin it to a post. All right, so we're going to go further, right? And, yeah, it gets smaller because of perspective, because the distance between point A and point B uh, has increased, right? Angular sa size change over distance. Not complicated. Uh, now, I have no idea at this point if we're having any of the other wonderful effects, you know, like the, the dr optical drop and the 
what you call it, the uh, critical angle and the limited angle and the occultation angle, whatever the hell that's supposed to be, we're going to go all the way to the end. Now, all right, what should have happened, and it may have happened, I'll have to check later on, is that the bottom began to disappear first. The wheels somehow became so unresolvable that you can no longer see them. Right? So if we... Yeah, let's see if we can zoom in real quick. I'm going to go back to that. Yeah, yeah, see, look, yep, can't see the wheels. Right? They must have... They must have somehow... Uh, that that critical angle must have caused them to, to just poof, become unresolvable. And this is kind of one of those things uh, that Flatsoid uh, likes to claim. Lemonbird does it too. That uh, objects have this tendency to smush uh, at the convergence point. Now, as you can see with this, obviously the convergence point here, uh, is still roughly uh, straightforward, right? So it, it, it didn't happen the way they describe it. It, it went below uh, eye level. That'd be optical drop, right? I mean, that is supposed to be what happens. When you're looking straight ahead, for some strange reason, uh, items in the background go below the, uh, the eye level because of... Mm, uh, optical drop and uh, according to like Riley and others in his little group uh, it's just the critical angle and as far as Flatsoy is concerned the angle the uh, what is it the angle that's created here to here the, the space here right Somehow or another, just the angle created by the distance uh, from start point to the end point occulted the bottom of the uh, wheel or bottom of yeah bottom of the wheels. The wheels are gone, right? You can't see them. Okay. And I mean, if I go, if I bring it back to the beginning, you know. Now I have, of course, wiggled, jiggled that camera a little bit, while, or jostled it a smidge while I was doing that. But nonetheless, you know, there it is, right? It, it I mean, even you know, a little small distance, right? Oh, small difference. No, small different distance makes such a big deal. Anyway. Um, the board itself is about eh, 11 and a half feet, give or take, probably closer to 12. And uh, so it's it's a couple of feet longer than the railing at uh, the shop that I used. Uh, so maybe that was the thing. I had to lower my camera to just the right spot uh, to to find this these magical angles, you know that flat earthers seem to think exist. Maybe that was it. Oh, and probably fucking around with the atmosphere probably really did it. Okay? So I included a lot of the things that flat earthers claim happens. Right? Anyway, uh, as far as perspective is concerned, no. In perspective, this should not happen. Right? I've demonstrated that several times uh, in, uh, well, okay, if it's true, then it should happen all the time, right? Just like the critical angle thing, it doesn't matter how big or how small or even how the distance shouldn't even matter in this, right? You can't say that if I go 
miles and miles and miles this is supposed to really happen because it would happen all the time everywhere at any scale given that you locate these these critical angles these somehow perfect places to get all this to happen I don't know I mean you see it but here's the thing flat earthers can you explain really can have I explained it any differently than you do right that all that did, did I not demonstrate virtually everything that you guys well not every everything but as far as this stuff is concerned haven't I demonstrated all of that hmm I don't know we'll see what uh, reaction we get from this particular uh, reaction alright uh, I've been the bitter devil thanks for watching